when you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever and, it, and sort of undergo that. But one of the most interesting things in the world, this is a yoga, this is a way of realization. Try and imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Think about that. Children think about it. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? And if you think long enough about that, something will happen to you. You will find out, among other things, that uh, it will pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. sending a message today by obliterating a motorcycle. Jason Grenauer shows us the demolition and why Denver police say this will keep us safer on the roads. Well, Denver police wanted to send a message and they definitely did. That is what's left of this motorcycle after it was just absolutely destroyed, crushed. Take a look at this video of this motorcycle just getting torn apart now. Once again, this was part of that killing the streets motorcycle rally back in July when hundreds of motorcyclists tried to shut down part of I-25. They did, in fact, doing tricks and racing, things like that. This bike was ultimately seized under the public nuisance law. DPD confiscated it and then destroyed it. The reason, twofold. One, public safety. They didn't want the person to be able mm -hmm. to be a threat to public safety on this motorcycle doing tricks, speeding, racing, things like that. The other, to send a message to all the other motorcycle riders out there. Message definitely sent, especially given what's going on right there. Reporting in Denver, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.
Come on. All right. Cut. Cut.